On November 23rd, the systems at All Indian Institute of Medical Sciences collapsed and it took the institution back by decades where everything was done manually. Now in an era where we're trying to integrate AI and robots in the industry, how did India's premium institute land up here? AIM said that it was hit by a ransomware attack where its servers were damaged. It crippled the system of patients' appointment data, lab reports, assessing and uploading them, and also coordination between different departments. Now the police and government agencies have been investigating the attack. But also meanwhile, media reports as well as government bodies have been claiming that China might have a role to play. Now millions of patients data as well as including VVIP was compromised during the 10-day long attack. Ames had not upgraded its computer and IT system for the past 30 years. And we didn't make this up. Officials themselves have said it. Till date, the computer and IT department at AIM were run by doctors that had no idea of the nitty-gritties of an IT department. So there were multiple flaws. A senior AIMS official said, AIMS servers were running on a software called Zimbra that specializes in email services. Now a source points out that the loopholes in Zimbra were already known by Feb this year when AIMS appointed Ernest & Young, a third party, to conduct an audit. So what steps did AIMS take to curb this? This wasn't just a cyber attack. It was a ransomware attack, which means that there is money involved. The hackers demanded 30 bitcoins, which would translate into 4.2 crore, and then they would return all the data they stole from AIMS. However, the government has denied any of these claims and said that there was no ransomware demanded. It was just a cyber attack. It's not just AIMS. Government bodies in general have been very careless about such threats. Let's talk in numbers. 98.31 crore out of the 213 crore has been put to use for cyber security during 2021 to 2022. That's literally less than half been put to use. Can we dismiss the China claim? Not really. A report by a cybersecurity firm based in Massachusetts reported that there has been a steep rise in the use of malware by a Chinese group called the Red Echo to target Indian powerhouse organizations in 2020. Today it is AIMS. Tomorrow it might be some government department. Citizens' data is constantly at risk. I am not okay with this. Are you?